A lot of good people. Well, isn't it like because, and and I might be wrong, but from some of the stuff I was looking at, is like the government will like subsidize these like huge areas of housing for people. So it's like, and then you get like, it's like the projects, that, yeah, the projects exactly. together, yeah. 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 yeah, and then you, you just get a. You get low income people who are struggling. And they, everyone yeah. co- congregates she, in these areas. You heard it from Zell. She, Don't have money, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I was reading between the lines. I heard it. That's what I, that's what oh, I heard here. Just, this guy's um, just swinging for the fences here, trying to knock us all down. Apparently. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it either. Dan? Was that? I think it was Dan. But here's the thing, though. Like, what I, you know, so it's tough times. Lily chose profession yeah uh she didn't have a lot of options but she actually thrived somewhat in this profession right like it was actually a, a good gig for her so much oh, yeah, she so that she was able to like she was one of the only people hey business be good man yeah business she's 32 good. she's in the prime of her life yeah she's, I'm, she's listen, using what she has 1931 yeah, she, she's got a, she's got a telephone how many people in the 30s had telephones not a Especially time, single probably. single white women with a telephone it's impressive, all right? Yeah. Not only that, she's got a radio, right? So she's doing well for herself. Oh, wow. She's thriving. She's actually doing better than she was when she was in her relationship. So I just want to say, you know. Yeah, she was doing that gluck This is gluck how Lily got her if, groove back. For yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're in a struggling relationship, divorce, become Sex prostitute. Work. Sex well, work. Only for how many, how many people are getting divorces and going to OnlyFans? Let's talk it's about just, that. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Like, it's not that different. Times say, haven't changed that much. Well, I'm going to say that... You would have way more people back then, like on it, on doing OnlyFans, similar to what you have now. If it was an option, yeah, because of the Great Depression. You mean? If, yeah, if I had the option, I would do it. You have the option. Could no you one's imagine, gonna pay like, you though. Back yeah, back in the thirties, like, the version of OnlyFans is like they're just standing on the street corner with like etches of their ass, being like, "Hey, check it out, subscribe, get yeah. a fucking picture, <laughs> <laughs> one nickel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, give me a nickel, see my yeah. see my asshole." <laughs> yeah. A nickel, yeah, for, she, a nickel for B-hole? You gotta be at least fucking 10 cents, but A nickel yeah. in thir- 1930, what's that worth? Fuck that's like fucking 100 bucks, probably. This is a dirty 30s. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Anything goes at this point. That's why they called it the dirty 30s. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But do you yeah. know, I heard a stat, it's like, whatever, it's like 80% of, like, U.S. currency has trace amounts of B-hole on it, or think? Ooh. I think that's the stat. Yeah, I guarantee Fecal that. matter or something. Yeah, yeah. People are so I, fucking I would, gross. People are gross. That or cocaine, I can't remember, but... You know how many f- videos I've seen of people that get caught on camera scratching their butt and sniffing uh, it? Why? Why do people do that? But they why? do it. And then they touch the coin. They put, put the coin in the fucking machine. You get the change. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's never... It's nothing worse than giving yourself the stink finger. Like, you can't... It takes so long to wash that thing off, too. Like, you're fucked. Yeah. Like, it's horrible. Why would you do that? People do it. They get caught on Gross. fucking. People got smart videos of these guys fucking everywhere, just scratching their own butt and sniffing it under the pants and selling oh, yeah. it on OnlyFans. <laughs> Probably <laughs> bottling it up and selling it. Ooh. Yeah, you want? You want I'll sell some stinky fingers. <laughs> Fart in a bag from Braden, twenty-five bucks. So when Lily became a sex worker, <laughs> anyways, anyways, back to the story. Yeah. She became a sex worker, but she did it in a way which she ran the business. She didn't have what you would call like a pimp, someone who would take like a cut of the money and set her up with guys. She yeah. was doing all the work herself. She had clients. She had a phone. So she was. Well, that's the thing. She was like, an entrepreneur. She, the fact that she had a phone, like that's like that's one of the reasons, like where the word call girl comes from, because these were a different type of sex worker that actually like worked from home, didn't have to wander the streets, and you'd think. Something that's taken place within what the last, what we want to say, 10, 15 years before this. Like, it's not the safest fucking job in the world. It, ne- it you know, pro- uh, sex workers have always been easy victims, unfortunately, for, mm-hmm. you know, for, for serial killers and stuff like that. And like, especially with this close proximity to book Jack the Ripper, I'm staying inside. I'm getting a phone. Yeah. You right, like protect fucking, yourself if you can. Right, so it's like at least she's doing it. She's doing it in a smart way, the safest way she could do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she's making more money because no one's getting a cut off her hard work. Good for her. So when she would get clients, she would bring them back usually to her place, a small apartment uh, where she. Ha- I guess it's like a. It seems like a like a fourplex or an eightplex, some type of house with multiple apartments. And her friend Mimi was sta- would, was actually in the same house, but not in a different apartment. Uh, 
And then one day she brought someone home. She seen Mimi and Mimi was the last person that seen Lily alive. <sighs> bomb, bomb, bomb murder month. <laughs> 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 Case closed. Dead. She's dead. That's it. Dead. That's it. But April 30th, 1932, the whole country was celebrating something called Walpurgis Night. Yeah, Walpurgis Night. Okay, listen. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is an annual holiday celebrated in Germany, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, and Czechoslovakia, mm-hmm. honoring Saint Walpurga. The, the saint was always said to protect people against pest rabies whooping cough and witchcraft murderers She's done a later shit times job at most the, of those things well because you didn't worship walpurgis enough you didn't give your fucking <laughs> nickels and b-hole pictures to walpurgis uh but in later times the festival's focus moved towards a celebration of light ushering in spring celebrating the end of sweden's unforgiving winter there but it is. sounds like a great fucking walpurgis sounds like a great fucking time right yeah well well, I was go- <laughs> while I was fucking Googling it, because I had no idea what it was, there's also... Do you, do you guys know who Faust is? Faust? Faust. No. Faust. So, Sounds German. Very German. He's kind of like a... He's like he's a protagonist of like a German, German uh, legend. And it's kind of it's tough to say, because some of it, I think, is loosely based on a guy named Johann uh, George Faust. But it's sensationalized. Like it's, I don't know, like Walter Mitty or whatever the fuck that thing was. So, you know, it's like a sensationalized story of this writer who wanted to kill himself, uh, failed at killing himself, and then ended up selling his soul to the devil for these powers and everything like that. But anyways, in one of the Faustian stories, they described, yeah, that's that's the saying, I think. If not, I I just pulled out a mask and hope it sounds good. It works good. Um, in, in the stories, they described Walpurgis as a dark celebration in the devil's honor held on Brocken Summit in Harz Mountains of central Germany. Hmm. So, I mean, one hand, we got this fun, joyous event, and the other hand, we're fucking celebrating Satan, baby. Let's smoke some yeah. crack and worship Satan, right? We yeah. don't know what these guys are doing. What in kind of crack? Crack? Are, are, aren't most holidays derived yeah. off some fucking pagan holiday of some kind? Or is that just Christian holidays, I guess? Probably. So as we were saying, the girls are planning to go out to this Walpurgis party. So they're planning, just, you know, planning what to wear. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? You don't want to wear the same stuff. Yeah. You, know, you want to look good, but you don't want to look the same. You're both trying to get clients, I would imagine, at this night. And this it's Walpurgis, like a, so you don't want to. You know, it's a holiday, so it's just yeah. like Uber on a holiday. You get a fucking, it's a multiplier. So you yeah. regular rate times 2.5. It's a pretty good night. But just before they, ran, they head out, the fo- her phone rang. An unknown male was looking for a prostitute. Ooh. I found uh, Mimi's actual, like Mimi. So this phone, this, the phone came, the phone call comes in and Mimi, she noticed that um, fucking Lily was kind of like, well, it's kind of weird, right? So she leaned a little bit closer to the phone so she could hear the conversation. And yeah. uh, Mimi gets interviewed and this is the, this is the transcription of what she heard or transcription. No transcript. Transcription? Yeah, the, like yeah. a trans- transcription. Yeah, yeah. Both I, these I, words work? E- either yeah, yeah. way you said it, I understood it. Did it sound good? It, it, yeah. it, it clicked in my mind. Okay. So right away, uh, Mimi noticed that Lily was confused because she's right away she's like, I don't know how you got my phone number because she doesn't give out her phone number, right? Only people that have it are like good clients. Or clients that she's met yeah. before. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. she's met and vetted in like friends and family members. So, <laughs> oh, so for, for, for us, different different other reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, right. Right. Come on, what are you talking I was about? Like, Holy <laughs> shit! Hey, boys, a nickel's a nickel. <laughs> Times are tough. Friends, you get the friends and family <laughs> discount. <laughs> so right away, she she heard Lily say, "But I don't know you." So you know, a little bit weird, right right so off the bat. Mimi would have found it weird that she said she didn't know this person yeah so she said that right away so she leans in and lily said yes it is are you home for a visit lily laughed i of course i am as you can hear are you able to see me if i come home in a while the man asked lily said are you far away he said no i'm really close i'll be right over oh shit Hmm. 
So he. So she, she doesn't know who this she person doesn't is. Know him, but he's got. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.